Hello and welcome to What Map, the map review show for City Skylines. There are tens of thousands of maps in the workshop now, and so finding the right one for your next build is a huge task. So each day, Monday to Saturday, we'll review one, using our 5 star rating for aesthetics, detail and gameplay potential, awarding only the very best of the coveted seal of approval. So join me, fellow Skylines explorers, as we venture to today's new land. Who am I? I'm Bon Bon B, and you are very, very welcome. Come here now, girl. Hello and welcome to Friday's What Map. Now today we're looking at a map that was created specifically for the Mass Transit DLC, but if you're a poor sap like me that doesn't own the DLC, then don't worry. There is this alternative version being created specifically for us, for which we should be eternally grateful, because it's a glorious map and it would have been a shame to have missed it. It's Fjordland, no DLC, by Mr Miyagi. Um, of course there is a full Technicolor version if you've got the DLC, which you should grab because it'll be a little bit better. Uh, Mr Miyagi has taken you know, a few liberties to make this map work for us uh, non-DLC owners. And uh, we've got to thank him for that because, like I say, the map is really, really very nice indeed. Um, everything you need to know is on the workshop, um, so I advise having a proper read before you get started. Uh, you'll need a few decals and rocks and foliage and whatever but in terms of theme you can choose your own it's a temperate theme um, I've gone with the realistic temperate but uh, you can choose anything anything you like from that theme now down the road level if you don't like convoluted and complex intersections look away now what am I saying this is the city skylines we blinking well love them and you're gonna love this one look at this this is just beautiful the flow is absolutely wonderful Everything does connect with everything else. Um, there's no real proper glitching. There's no that, that all the road heights are the right levels. Everything, everything is absolutely 100% perfect. I don't like saying that. There's a little bit of um, of glitching with the sharp junctions, but um, it's tiny. It's, it's minuscule and I'm not even looking at it. Here we go, rail, rail over road, and this proves that I'm very happy with rail over road. They don't have to go under if it looks right, and that looks right to me. Now, this is, uh, that over there I'm gonna call Highway B. We'll come back to that. We're gonna go this way first of all, because it heads towards our start square. We go under the rail again. And um, right when I say start square, we've got multiple options along here. All these lovely little roundabouts pop down for us, and it's kind of your main build area along here. Um, the roundabouts do take up quite a chunk of, but they're beautifully decorated. They really are very nicely done indeed. And um, yes, like I say, all these little intersections, get so almost the traffic keeps flowing. Oh look, they're very kindly put down some uh, water and power for us, just to get us started. You may want to delete those if you're... You're not, not that way inclined, of course. This bridge, well, okay, you show off, Mr. Miyagi, you show off. That was very nice, of course. And then we've got another uh, another start location along here. And once again, it's part of the same big build area. And that's very nice as well. Can't grumble with that at all. Now, what happens if we follow on? Well, we go into a tunnel. And the tunnel comes out over here, the other side of the mountain. And then heads off to the fog. And we've got this intersection here. You can see the traffic's heading off. Now, where does that go? Well, that actually tunnels right underneath this mountain range. And comes out at our convoluted intersection over here. See? Full loop. Very nicely worked. Very nice indeed. Now, we'll quickly fly over what we've already seen. Because we've already seen that. Uh, what we're we going to look at next. Oh, if we come this way, um, past our main city build. Now we're going e off into the city build a bit. Now, because of the mass transit, what we've what is used here are the highway ramps, which of course are one way. And you're going to want to upgrade these to a suitable road because it's a one way traffic and anything gets to the end will be one truly stuck. Um, and I would have preferred that to have been a two way road even if it's not ideal, right from the off, personally. Um, yes, I understand why he's used the highway ramps along here, but um, personally, like I say, 
I think it would have just saved us some time if we'd gone with straight with a, a decent two-way road. Um, right, so what's next? If we head this way, this is another one of these routes up through the residential area that uh, we've just been exploring. Um, once again, these are all, once again, the highway ramps. All these will need upgrading as well. It's not a big deal. I mean, we, we all know it's just a simple single, single, single click to convert the road. Um, pops out there, comes out here, and then island hops over to here, and then goes under there, and island hops over to the other side of this little hill. There we are, comes out just there. And then we come to a roundabout here. Now, Mr. Miyagi, we've seen these before. I'm thinking Dagenham. <laughs> I'm thinking Dagenham. It's a very nice roundabout, but um, I'm pretty sure we've seen something very, very, very similar in a different part of the world. But hey, hey, if you're good at doing roundabouts, do your roundabouts. Now we could head that way, but we're going to take a left because there's something up here I want you to see. Um, let's just follow this road up. Well, it just goes up this hill a little bit and it goes up this hill a little bit. And ooh, uh, you, uh, be brave. Uh, it goes around this bend and it goes up this hill a little bit and uh, takes a sharp right here and then it goes up this hill a little bit and takes a left and it goes up this hill god blimey it, it, I, you're gonna like seeing this you're gonna love it when we get to the top you really are uh up this hill a little bit and around the bend and up this hill a little bit <laughs> Oh, it's brilliant. And, and we're nearly there, guys. We're nearly there. There you go. Roundabout at the top. And a tiny little build played up there. But we got there. And look at that S Sing all the way up there. That's beautifully done. And um, it all needs replacing with two way roads, so clearly. Um, yes, we've got rail. Um, we've got this one that comes out through the mountain over there, heads off to the fog, which you've seen before. And then if we go back, and then we can take these ones, and these come out here. And they run parallel with what I'm calling Highway B, which we better have a look at in a minute. And that flies off and joins up with our main highway. And the convoluted intersections, etc. All the way over there. Right. Uh, highway B. Highway B. Now we've got to, it goes into a tunnel to avoid the build plane. And we've got a build plane here with a double roundabout. It's very pretty. Again, all very nicely done. Um, and all this was very nicely done as well. Little uh, one-way route around there. And yeah, and it comes out there. That's the, um, the highway. So it dips in and dips out again. And then we can just follow this around. Oh, a tiny little build area there. What are you going to do in there? I don't know. And then that comes all the way over here, a little bit build area here. There's all tiny little build areas, loads of intersections, all put down, ready to roll. And there's another one of those there. And then this comes out here. And let's have an asset review. God, dear, so many roads. Let's, let's ignore the roads. Let's have a look at the rail. We've not done this before in an asset review. Signal Tower, Stelwerk Volbron by Sven Berlin. Now, Signal Tower. Um, is basically Stelwerk. Okay, this is, this is me German. Me German coming to... Well, okay, I cheated. I used Google. Um, and Volbron is where you would find this particular signal tower. So there you go. Signal tower, signal tower, Volbron is what it means. It's a beautiful little asset, isn't it? Come on. And I've done the detail in myself. You see those plants and those trees behind? Just for you guys, I've plopped those down. Just to make it look a bit nicer. I could have just dropped it. You know me, I normally just drop the asset down, but this is a very nice asset and it needed to be treated as such. Signal Tower, Stelwerk, Volbron by Sven Berlin. Grab it today, it's a beauty. Oh, cue the sting, cue the sting, we're finished. Ah, thank you. Okay, um, shipping routes, all comes in from the corner. And it goes into the fjords. One over there, one over here, one over there. Okay, you got that. It's pretty much covered. Pretty much covered. Ah, oh, that water. Now, this, in terms of maps, probably has the longest coastline of any map we've done. I think. I, I've not checked, but it's got to be up there. I mean, Norway has got one of the longest coastlines. Uh, well, for the size of the nation, it's, it's a huge coastline. 
because you do get all these fjords which are like little inlets that come in and then go back out and of course it just all this zigzagging backwards and forwards adds so much coastline it's it's wonderful it's beautiful and he's really made this work for this map he really has even this little one here just a little inlet there and they'll build plane out here on the peninsula and then into the river big old bridge there loads of room to get underneath it and then we got this one and it's sort of like it just dead ends again it's lovely so many options ah we've got a stream let's have a let's follow the stream up shall we yeah it comes out the side of the hill but it's fine i don't mind that that looks okay that's very very nicely done i just don't like water gushing out of holes in 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 the rock it doesn't look right let's come down to proper water level and get a real feel for this it's beautiful isn't it look at the choice of trees as well the background and the water flowing it's almost real it is almost real and that's the highest praise you can give a map maker is when they put down something and you just you're not sure sometimes you have to have a second look to make sure that what you're seeing is actually genuine look at this wide old very shallow just enough water coming down to keep everything flowing and tickling along and where's the water coming out if so it's not gushing out look that's I don't know why I can tolerate that couple of rocks around that maybe might maybe that would have taken too much attention to it if it'd been detailed I know actually you know, I, I, I'm okay with that I think I think so I'm getting confused anyway we're, we're heading back out and um, past another um, oh look got flat bit of um, dock area there maybe and then back out do you know what we could follow these these fjords for about another 10 minutes I think quite easily I mean they just there's so much waterfront on this map it is almost impossible to keep up with we've got this island here there are loads of little islands dotted around we're not gonna we, we we could look at the rest of those fjords but to be honest with you you're just gonna be seeing more of the same let's have a look at the islands instead um, the islands oh, say it's all quite rocky and there's not a lot of clear build plane on the map which is gonna like I say it's going to be, make it a bit of a challenge, but um, I'm sure you're up to it. There is plenty of build playing across it, but not not super amounts. Okay, aesthetically, it is glorious. It's five stars. I can't mark it down. Detailing, tiny little bit glitching on the highways, and of course you're going to need to upgrade those um, those roads. So I'm going to knock you down a star for that one there, Mr. Miyagi, for four stars for detailing and gameplay potential slightly limited build plane that's about it really honestly beyond that and having to upgrade those roads I'll give that four stars as well but that's still an outstanding score there and it's a lovely lovely map highly recommended and I'm going to give it my bomb bomb B seal of approval Fjordland no DLC by Mr Miyagi and that is that lovely map to finish right well thanks very much for commenting watching liking and subscribing join me again tomorrow where we'll have our quirky asset of the week and uh, of course we'll have a proper map to look at as well and then we can put our feet up and enjoy sunday i'll see you then bye now